Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. Hello and welcome to a rather wet Castle Coombe kart circuit for round two of the Castle Coombe Junior Karting Championship. Now all of these carts are on slick tyres and it is very difficult for these young drivers. Here is the grid for the B final which has Ellie Biddle on pole position alongside Ben Franken. Darius Walker and Zachary Mead on row two. Lakshdeep Kamboj on Sam Skellett on row three and Alex Kaczynski on row four. Now the championship is for drivers aged between 10 and 16 and you can read more information on castlecombekarting.co.uk. So we wait for the lights to go green now, which we, they do, and it looks like a pretty good start. Ellie looks like she's maintained the lead into the first corner, so they all head through the first corner, and it does look like Ellie is leading from Ben Franken. Looks like we've got one or two spinners at the first corner, but out of the chicane, it is Ellie Biddle who leads the way ahead of Ben Franken. Darius Walker is in third place, challenging Ben Franken for that second place. And it looks like we've got Sam Skeller in fourth and Alex Kuczynski in fifth place. As they head back down the hill, Ben Franken is in second place and it looks like closing up slightly onto the back of Ellie Biddle. Darius Walker in third, Sam Skeller in fourth and Alex Kuczynski in fifth. And then there is Zachary Mead at the back, who must have been the driver who spun at the first corner. So on to lap two now, and Ellie Biddle still has the lead. But Ben Frankham is a lot closer, and he looks like he is over half the gap, pulled away from Darius Walker, and is now challenging Ellie Biddle for the lead. Darius Walker that bit further back in third, then Sam Skellett still in fourth, and Alex Kaczynski in fifth place. So Ben now right with Ellie Biddle as they head back down the hill. Ellie still holding the lead at the moment. Darius a bit too far back to do anything. But Ben Frankham takes a wider line and gets a very good exit out of the last corner and alongside into the first corner. And it looks like Sam Skellett has had a spin there as well and dropped right back down the order down to seventh place. But Ben Frankham does have the lead. He is through past Ellie Biddle and it looks like Ellie has lost out to Darius Walker as well. So Ben now has a big lead. Darius is up into second place under pressure from Ellie Biddle. So Ellie must have had a mistake down at that first corner to fall behind Darius. And now side by side as they head back down the hill. But Darius just holds on to that second place. So Ben Frankham has the lead. Darius Walker into second under pressure from Ellie Biddle. And in fourth now is Alex Kuczynski. And a spin there for Lachdeep Cambodge right under pressure from Zachary Mead and Sam Skellett right behind it. oh and there's another spin three of them side by side as they head into the last corner oh and two more spins really showing how difficult these conditions are slick tires very tricky conditions back onto the other side of the circuit and Darius is still holding that second place ahead of Ellie Biddle still taking that wider line getting more momentum on the exit of the corner and holding on to second place but ellie will be doing everything she can to put darius under pressure to try and take that second place and waiting for fourth place alex kaczynski there he's a long way back on his own in fourth place not under any pressure so we see sam skellett there in fifth place he also looks like he's on his own uh, there's Lakshdeep in 5th place, 6th place sorry, and 7th place is Zachary Mead who was unfortunate to get stuck in the barrier early, earlier. So we now watch Ellie Biddle having a look up the inside of Darius, she's, she's spun, so that has given Darius a big gap now in 2nd place. Although he's got very sideways there and he's spun as well. So Ellie back through into 2nd place, Darius continuing in 3rd, so again really showing how difficult these conditions are. Most of the drivers in this race have spun at some point. As we see Alex Kaczynski there having a spin as well. He's still safe in fourth place. And Sam Skellett too far back there in fifth place to challenge. But Ben Frankham out in front under no pressure whatsoever. Oh, and there's another spin for Zachary Mead. But Ben Frankham driving brilliantly in this race, setting very fast lap times. And he, on the last lap of the race now, heads down the hill to take the checkered flag. So... He had a very good second lap to catch up to Ellie Biddle and then a brilliant move 
and there he is taking the victory. Ellie still holding on to second place ahead of Darius Walker, who gets very sideways on the way down the hill, drifting it down the hill, and he takes third place. And Alex Kaczynski there in fourth place. And a big gap back to fifth place, Sam Skellett, who we see coming to shot there now. So Sam Skellett in fifth place, Lakshdeep in sixth place, and Zachary Mead finishing in seventh place. So here is confirmation of the results then. Ben Franken with the fastest lap in that race with 38.91, which very well could be faster than anybody in the A final as well. He scores 41 points for finishing eighth place in today's event. Ellie Biddle finishes second in the B final, which is ninth place in today's event. And Darius Walker there in third place, 39 points for 10th in today's event. And now it is time for the A final. This is the top seven drivers from today's heats, and they will all be battling it out to take victory in round two of the Castle Kuma Junior Karting Championship. On pole position is Luke Green. He's joined on the front row by Ryan Taylor, who won round one of the championship. Jamie Watson and Jake Holly line up on the second row, with Casper Chadwick and Leah Corson on the third row, and Thomas Hughes lining up in seventh. Now, interestingly, both Luke Green and Thomas Hughes are in their first championship, so it's brilliant that they've been able to make it into the A final this week, and hopefully we will see them put in a good performance during the race. So we wait for the lights to go green now, and they do, and it's a good start all round. It looks like Luke Green has been able to maintain the lead into the first corner, they're heading around the first corner. One of them is a bit sideways. I think that's Ryan Taylor. So as they head through the chicane, it is Luke Green leading the way. Jamie Watson with the orange helmet in second. And it looks like Casper Chadwick up into third. And there's Ryan Taylor in fourth, side by side with Jake Holly. Still side by side as they head up towards the top corner. And it looks like Thomas Hughes is up the inside of Jake Holly, trying to take sixth place away. But Jake has just held on to that position. Fifth place away, that was Ryan Taylor up the inside of Casper Chadwick. He's got very sideways. Jake Holly's gone round the outside, and they have both lost out to Thomas Hughes. So Thomas Hughes up into fourth place. Leo Corson looks like he's up into fifth. And Jake Holly unfortunately dropping back to seventh. And it also looks like he's had a spin at the bottom corner as well there. But back to the leaders. Luke Green still leading the way ahead of Jamie Watson. They've got a bit of a gap back to Casper Chadwick in third. And there's Thomas Hughes in fourth, Leo Corson in fifth, ahead of Ryan Taylor. So they're heading back down the hill. Ryan trying to find a way back through, but he's not able to make a make a pass. So Leo holding on to that fifth place as the leaders start lap three of the race. And there is a big gap back from Ryan Taylor to Jake Holly, who just comes past the camera there now. So Jake has a lot of catching up to do. But on the other side of the track, Luke Green is opening up his gap over Jamie Watson. Casper Chadwick looks like he's dropping back a little bit in third, but still holding on with Thomas Hughes in fourth behind him. Ryan Taylor still trying to find a way through. He's got the inside line on the exit, and I think he's made it stick. Still side by side, and yes, through into fifth place for Ryan Taylor there. But... He's got a long way to go to catch up to the leaders if he wants to repeat his victory in round one as we see Leo have a spin there as well. So again, really showcasing how difficult these conditions are. And Jake there is catching up, but still a long way back in seventh there. So Luke Green opening up bigger lead now to Jamie Watson. Will Jamie be able to catch that gap at all? Casper Chadwick in third, Thomas Hughes in fourth. Neither of them are close enough to make a move, but they've now got Ryan Taylor behind them who will be trying to catch them back up. So Thomas Hughes getting a bit sideways, trying to catch back up to Casper Chadwick. Doesn't quite look like anybody at the moment is close enough to make an overtake. They're all spread out quite, quite a bit through this race. But these conditions, anything can change. They are very, very difficult. As it looks like there's contact at the bottom corner. One of the drivers has spun. Not too sure what's happened there, but Jamie Watson in second place. Looks like he's closed up a little bit on Luke Green. And now there is a big, big gap to third place, which is still Casper Chadwick. So Casper holding on to third. Leo 
is up into fourth. So Ryan Taylor's been caught out in that as well. So Thomas Hughes in fifth. And Jake Holly is up into sixth place. So that has really helped Jake catch back up. He was a long way back. So he is in contention to be able to possibly get a fourth place as we see Leo spin there. Thomas Hughes gets held up and Jake Holly now right with Thomas Hughes and unfortunately Jake has had a spin but back over to the other side Jamie Watson is challenging Luke Green for the lead Luke Green taking a more defensive line Jamie Watson trying to get a better exit but it looks like Luke Green has held on to the lead it's a yellow flag for Leo Spun who's just carried on now so racing resumes as they get to the chequered flag and it looks like Luke Green will hold on to take victory in round two of the Castle Coombe Junior Karting Championship. Jamie Watson takes second. Casper Chadwick there in third. He's got a big gap back to Thomas Hughes. So Casper Chadwick takes third place on the podium sideways across the line. And Thomas Hughes in fourth. Jake Holly, long way back in fifth. But considering where he was at the end of that first lap, that's a great recovery. Ryan Taylor there in sixth. He unfortunately got caught out in instance as well. And then Leo had that spin, so he is down to seventh. And here is confirmation of the results with Luke Green taking the victory ahead of Jamie Watson. Casper Chadwick third, Thomas Hughes fourth, Jake Holly fifth. But interestingly, Ben Frankham did get fastest lap, so he gains an extra point to take him up to 42 points for round two. Now here is the championship standing. So Ryan Taylor still leading the championship ahead of Jamie Watson. Jake Holly third. Ben Franken fourth, Luke Green after his win jumping up to fifth place, a brilliant brilliant day for him, Casper Chadwick in sixth, also a very good day with him taking a podium and that is the end of round two, I hope you've all enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon for round three.